Stephen, Cameron, do you want to explain to us what, was, what we saw on the television cameras out there today and what's happened since? Can you explain? Uh, yep, so uh, I've been just had discussions with the um, match officials and um, you know, I've been charged with attempting to uh, um, uh, to change the, the condition of the ball. Um, yeah, look, we, we had a, um, a, yeah, a discussion during the break to, and um, yeah, on, my, on myself, I, I saw an opportunity to potentially use some, use some tape, get some, um, you know, granules from the, you know, from the rough patches on the wicket and, and try to, um, I guess, change the, yeah, change the ball condition. Um, it didn't work. The umpires didn't obviously change the ball, but uh, I guess once I was, you know, sighted on the, on the screens and, and having done that, I, I, you know, panicked quite a lot. And, uh, yeah, that, that obviously resulted in, in me shoving it down my, um, my trousers. So. It was tape. Yeah, yeah. So we have this um, yeah yellow tape in our in our kit, and um, it's, you know, it's connected to actually some some padding. But the actual sticky stuff itself is um, yeah, it's very sticky, and and I I felt like it could be used to um, yeah to collect some stuff from the side of the pitch. So you've been told to ball tapping. I suppose the talk around this, Stephen, is that he wouldn't do that of his own volition. Just the team must be aware of what he's doing. Yeah, the, the leadership group knew about it. Um, we spoke about it at lunch and uh, I'm not proud of, of what's happened. Um, you know, it's not within the spirit of the game. Um, my integrity, the team's integrity, the leadership group's integrity has come into to question and, and rightfully so. Um, it's not on. Um, it's, it's certainly not on, and it's it, it won't happen again. I can promise you that under my leadership. Whose idea was it? Sir? It was the the leadership group. Um, I'm not naming names, but the leadership group were um, what talked about, and, and Bangers was was around at the time, and um, you know we spoke about it and um, thought it was a possible way to, to get an advantage, and um, obviously it didn't work. Uh, the umpires didn't see it. Um, Change the um, the way the ball was behaving or how it looked or anything like that. So poor choice, and um, yeah, we're um, deeply regret regrettable. Um, I guess our actions. And was it a discussion with coaches like with Darren involved, or did he know the ball? No, the coaches weren't involved. Um, it was it was purely the players and the the leadership group that um, came up with this. And uh, as I said, it's. It's not on, and I can promise you it won't happen again. It is. Um, you know, we saw this game as such an important game. Not that all other games aren't important as well, but an opportunity. Um, we've obviously seen the ball uh, reversing quite a lot um, throughout this series, and our ball just didn't look like it was going to go. So. Um, that's a mistake on our behalf again. Um, you know, it's it's such poor actions and um, deeply regrettable, and certainly won't happen again under my leadership. I can promise you. Steve, there uh, will obviously be questions asked on Mitchell Stocks, brilliant. Um, you know, getting the ball through the first swing in the first test in Durban. <coughs> obviously, when things like this happen, there will be question marks. You know, when when it happened, whether this was the result of that. Yeah. Yeah, um, you can ask questions as much as you like, but I can promise you this is the first time that it's happened, um, and I, I think I've I've made it clear um, we're regrettable and we'll move on from this, and um, hopefully we'll learn something from it. Um, you know, I'm I'm embarrassed. I know the boys in the shed are embarrassed as well, um, and I, I feel for Cam as well. Um, you know, it's not, it's not what we want to see in the game. It's not what the Australian cricket team's about. And uh, being the leader of the team, I'm um, incredibly sorry for, for I guess, trying to bring the game into um, disrepute the way that we, we did today. Steve, um, has there been any discussion about this with James or with David Peterson, fire up at the cricket show back home? No, not at, 
this present time. Um, we've literally just come off the, the field, and I think it's the middle of the night back in Australia. So, you know, we've just been made aware by the match referee and um, and all that. So I'm sure that'll come. So you're saying that you're regretting it. Would you be regretting it if it hadn't been pulled up on the cameras and hadn't been known about? I think deep down, yeah, I would. Um, you know, it's it's not what we're about. Um, it's a poor reflection on everyone in that dressing room, um, particularly the leaders of the group. Um, and yeah, so absolutely. Um, if if we weren't caught, I'd. I'd still feel incredibly bad about it. Cameron, you're young in your career. I can see you absolutely distraught about this. And I know Steve has said you're going to look to move on. How do you move on? Well, in my short career so far, I've felt like I've sat here and been asked a lot of big questions a couple of times now. And um, look, it's just, unfortunately, I was, you know, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. and. Um, you know, I want to be here because, you know, I'm accountable for my actions as well. And, um, you know, like the captain said, I'm not, I'm not proud of um, what's happened. And, um, you know, I've got to live with, with the consequences, live with the, the damage to my own reputation that that comes with. And, um, you know, do my best to, to move forward and, and, um, and play cricket. Last two. Cameron, were you asked to do this by the leadership group of senior players? and took it on reluctantly in a way that it was something that you felt you should do for the team. What, what were you, do you feel like you were coerced, pressured into There's a suggestion that younger members of the team are often asked to do this kind of thing. Yeah, I don't think in this particular um, case it was that way. I was, um, you know, I was in the vicinity of the area when the leadership group were, um, you know, were discussing it. And um, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was, um, you know, I was obviously nervous about it because, you know, you, with thousands of, you know, hundreds of cameras around, that's always the risk, isn't it? And, um, you know, I sit before you today and, um, you know, I'm not proud of what's happened at all. Last one. Steve, will you consider stepping down as captain afterwards? Uh, no, I won't be considering stepping down. Um, I still think I'm the, the right person for, for the job. Um, obviously, today was a big mistake on my behalf and on the, the leadership group's um, behalf as well. But I take responsibility as the captain. I, I need to take control of the ship. But um, you know, this is certainly something I'm not proud of, um, and something that I can hope learn from and um, come back strong from. Um, as I said, I'm, I, I am embarrassed to be sitting here and talking about this. Um, you know, we're in the middle of such a great series, and for something like this to sort of overshadow the great cricket that's being played um, and not have a single cricket question in here. Um, you know, that's that's not what I'm about and not what the team's about. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll move past this. It's, it's, it's a, a big error in judgment, um, but we'll learn from it and move past it. Thank you.